Hello everybody, welcome back to another 10 a day video. Uh, today's prompt, the one that I'm drawing, is uh, animals in action. So the day that I drew this, I was super duper like not into it. And so there's not a lot of recording time for this one. Um, I did get it done, but you'll notice a little towards the end that it did get really, really crappy. But I did do the anatomy, so hopefully that was enough. I doubt it. But I did do the 10, as difficult as it was for me that day. Um, but I, I did have a little bit of fun towards the beginning drawing uh, the animals. Especially this panda. I downloaded this picture from Google. And it was a picture of a panda, and it looked like the panda was dancing, and then the side panda was, like, chillin'. I feel like I'd have to put that picture on there, but we'll see. Hopefully I edit that in. We'll find out later. But I, I really like that picture, and I ended up using it as a meme later, because, like, why not? And, yeah, so why, why not? Um, this is a baby pig. The one that I'm drawing right here, that's a baby pig. I didn't draw it right, because it didn't look like a baby pig. It just kind of looked like a pig doing doing pig things when it was supposed to be rolling in the mud. Um, I kind of wanted to draw when when I was drawing this, because I noticed that I, I watch a lot of Ten Days, and they ink over some of their paintings or drawings. Drawings, yeah, drawings. They ink over some of their drawings. And I wanted to do that, but I kind of had really crappy paper with this because I couldn't get a sketchbook in uh, a short amount of time, so I ended up just having to use a bunch of computer paper that I had lying around. And with the computer paper, I had to make it double-sided because I didn't have very many papers as it was. And so it's, it's computer paper and double-sided and double -sided inking would have just made the pages look super ugly and ended up not doing that. But I kind of wish I did for aesthetic purposes, which kind of sucks. But, you know, I, I can't complain about it too much, considering it provided me a lot of drawing paper anyway, so that was always nice, and that was always uh, pretty radical. Yeah. Okay, so for day six, um, I'm not drawing in my room right here because it was actually raining outside and I can hear it from the kitchen rather than I can hear it from the uh, my room. Because first of all, my room has no screen on it and it's just directly to the outside and then right outside my window is a bush and right in that bush are a gigantic spiders, especially right now when it's getting into summer, it's the worst. But I was drawing right here so that I could listen to the rain while it rained. And so I think the lighting will change a little bit because I kind of relied on sky lighting at this point. And though I think I might have had, um, I think I might have had the flash on. Actually, I did have a flash on. But I, I change, um, environments. See, right here, right here. Yeah, I, I moved once the rain stopped. I was like, well, I'm done. And I also heard hail cannons outside, which my dog was freaking out about. Mm, poor pupper. But, um... Uh, I, yeah, the rain was pretty nice, especially for living in California, where we have recently gotten zero rain. Except, well, recently we've gotten rain, but before that recently, we did not get any rain, and as most of the world probably knows, we were in a drought. But I think we're getting out of that, I think. Most of the, actually, all of the drawings in here, um, that I drew are all characters from the comic that I'm supposed to be working on, but really haven't worked on. Um, and when I was choosing, uh, what I was going to draw, I really kept in mind the characters' personalities and where they would be and what they'd be doing, except for one of them. The one where it was really high up, that was the first drawing, and she's, like, leaning over the side. That one didn't really have character personality in there. Uh, that was just because I wanted to draw Kalia, like, doing weird hardcore parkour crap. And I ended up really liking that one. With this one, this one's actually based off of another drawing that I did a while ago, but I thought I would use it because it was my character in an environment. And Kaija was, it's, it was from her Snapchat story, her, of course, fake, chat, fake Snapchat story. Um, Kalia is trying to get her onto the glass bridge, and this is her on the glass bridge, freaking out. And I think I'm going to do something with that later. Um... Because I, I actually, with the things that I drew in here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use at least some of these later, like Kalia visiting the Winchester Mansion House, will you, which you'll see towards the end. Um, but 
and low-key this kind of helped me develop one of my character's personalities the one that i'm drawing right now um he was a very basic character before i drew this like i i had a very basic and low understanding of him because i hadn't really developed him very much i actually spent most of my effort and time on um i spent most of my time on kaija and kalia and um a little bit of amelia and so he wasn't he wasn't very developed and um when i was drawing him like in the gaming room and like up against things i realized what a dork he was like have you guys ever had that where you, your characters just develop into random things because i do and it happens all the time and they are all completely different people from when i first started so that's how that goes this are these are the final drawings guys i hope you enjoyed look at that derpy looking pig well that sea lion actually wasn't too bad that was probably the one i had the most fun drawing oh and the dog goes newman that's not the dog the dog look at him he's newman but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed um i hope you guys come back for i think i'm posting it tomorrow tomorrow's uh 10 a day challenge and then come monday i will have um sunday saturdays posted so see there's the parkour one so i hope you guys are back for those bye Thank you.